This is a project I've been wanting to do for a while. I want to create a 3D printed version of this lens cap that is customizable so you can put your logo and such on it. So let's jump in and design it. We're going to design a 3D printed version of this lens cap. It has a steel spring assembled inside of it that allows it to hook inside the lens when you squeeze it together and let it go. In our design, we're going to 3D print the spring instead of using a steel one. There are multiple sizes of these lens caps to fit on different size lenses, even ones that fit on old vintage style lenses, which are pretty much the same design. So there's a couple of design criteria that I want to accomplish here. The first one is I don't want to design a lens cap for every lens size. So I want to create a parametric model that is based on the inside diameter where it hooks and you change that dimension and all the other geometry changes so we can create a lens cap for any lens size including old vintage style lenses. The other criteria is I want a flat front surface so I can put a logo and that type of thing on it so it will be customizable. So let's jump into SolidWorks and let's design it. We're going to start with a circle that represents the inside diameter of the lens and we're going to offset off of that to make the outside diameter and base all the rest of the geometry off of that reference circle. We'll extrude that to give it thickness and then work on the dovetail for the slide to slide in. Now we'll create a new virtual part and start developing the slide. We'll give it an outside diameter based on the reference circle. We'll sketch the basic outside shape and fully define that with dimensions. These dimensions might change later, but it gives us a good starting point. Now we'll mirror that geometry and extrude it to give it thickness. Back over in the assembly, we'll put the necessary mates in to make sure it slides in the slot. Now we can add the dovetail angles to the slide, making sure we have plenty of clearance so it'll slide freely. That looks pretty good. Jumping back to the base part of the lens cap, we'll add the center divider, a place for the spring to live, and a lip to retain the slide so it doesn't slide completely out of the lens cap. Now I'll add some dimensions and relations to make sure it's fully defined, and then mirror it to complete the geometry. Now we can extrude that to give it some thickness, and mirror that geometry for the other side. Before we create the retainer hook, let's create the teeth that will grab the grooves on the inside of the lens. To do this, we'll define and extrude some base geometry, draw a single tooth and define it, and do a revolve to wrap it around the face. Now we'll make a linear pattern of that, so we'll have two of them. Now let's create the retainer hook to keep the slide from sliding out of the slot. The idea here is this will flex inward as you assemble it and then be trapped in the slot. So we'll fully define it with dimensions and then extrude it to give it some thickness. Now we can mirror that geometry to the other side. Now you can see that once it's assembled, it'll be trapped in the slot. Now last, but definitely not least, we'll develop the spring. I wanted to design the spring so it's too long, so it's always pressing the retainer clips up against the catches. Or, when it's in a lens, pressing the teeth up against the inner diameter of the lens. Now we'll finish fully defining the spring by adding dimensions and relations and then extrude it to give it thickness. Now I'll just tweak some of these dimensions until I'm happy with the fit of the spring and the catch. Now I'll add some chamfers to chop off these sharp corners. This serves two purposes. One is it makes the parts slide together better. These are also the faces that will be laying down on the print bed and the chamfer will give the material a place to bulge out slightly without affecting the size of the part. Now we can make a copy of the slide and add mates so it stays in the slot. Now I'll add a chamfer to give the top edge a finished look. So that completes the lens cap. Now any logo I want to put on it, I'll create in a separate file and I'll just combine them in the slicer. The first one I'm going to create is for Clear Bean Media, which is my son's content marketing company. I figured this would make a good gift for him. I'll start by importing a DXF into SolidWorks. 
Then I'm going to expand all the narrow portions of the letters so they don't close themselves up when they print. I'll do this by just offsetting the lines both directions. And then just extrude it to give it some thickness. The second logo I'm going to do is a Dan Designs logo and pretty much go through the same process. When I print these, I'm going to switch over to a 0.25 millimeter nozzle to get better detail. Now let's print them and see how they come out. All right, let's check them out. Looks like they printed pretty good. Let's check out the clear bean media base. Looks like it came out pretty good. There's a little bit of stringing here. I can clean it up with an X-Acto knife though. The Dan Designs logo came out perfect. The other Dan Designs logo, it's gonna need a little bit of cleanup also. All right, let's see how good they assemble. Let's take a slide and slide it in here. That feels pretty good. Grab this other one, put it in there. All right, there we go. Yeah, feels pretty good. See how the Dan Designs cap goes together? Even smoother. Yeah, it feels really nice. Okay, let's see how it fits. Let's set that aside and try the clear bean media version of it. And that's a really nice fit. Latches on really good. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's try the smaller version. It's the Dan Designs logo and that fits really good also. All right, now let's try the vintage lens here. Clear bean media, that fits nice also. So I think we've accomplished what we wanted to here. We've created a customizable lens cap that can be easily printed to fit any size lens. And also it's fully 3D printed and it was a lot of fun to create. I hope you enjoyed that design, I sure did. The parts came out really nice. If you would like to print your own, the STL files will be over on my website in multiple different sizes. If you need a different size, just leave that in the comments below and I'll whip one up for you. Also, you can check out the full SolidWorks design tutorial where I teach you how I designed it from beginning to end in SolidWorks. The link's in the description. Video's over on my channel. So I'll see you in the next design.